Oh dear. Into the void. <laughs> uh, Nico, you got control of where you want to place him. Oh, nice. Um, On top of the pages, sorry. I want to make him face the horse, so that's the first thing he sees. Ignore that, sorry. Wake up to a cut off horse head, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you give him an offer, you can't reveal it. So I'll say you guys, uh, you set it up down there, you wait for a few minutes, and he starts to stir, his head lulling from side to side. And he suddenly jolts as he his eyes open up and he sees the horse head. <laughs> So, as he wakes up, and to kind of compound the shot, I want Victor to be stood behind him, and he's going to suddenly put both of his hands down onto his shoulders to startle him. And kind of using that confusion, he's going to say, Hey, looks like you're in a bit of a, a odd situation here. Hey, look, um, listen, we're not going to hurt you, but um, I'm going to need you to answer all of uh, me and my friend's questions in the most uh, truthful and straightforward way you can. Can you do that for me? And he's going to cast Suggestion. Okay, throw me the description. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Source. Oh, right. For some reason... <laughs> ah, right. Oh, right. For some oh, yeah. reason... Oh, it's cast oh, on display on VTT. There we go. Okie dokie, so it'll be wisdom. Let me just get stat block again. The reason I kind of wanted to cast out him was trying to cause disadvantage on his wisdom save. That's kind of yeah, what I was going to say. As it's given what's just happened. Okay. He ain't passing this. Well, so, he's not past that. Yeah, no, DC 13. What was that, sorry? Name your sentence or two. Um, I actually did it before the spell, but... Oh, um, oh. Um, I didn't actually write it. Basically, Victor said that, you know, we're not going to hurt you so much. as possible. Yeah, basically answer our, all of our questions in the most straightforward manner you can. Uh -huh. Right, okay, so I reckon you should be alright to talk now. So, um, might not want to take that cloth out completely, but just take it out so, you know, we can at least hear him talk there. Quick question, how long does it last for? Eight hours. Oh. Hmm, bastard. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I worded it that way. Blah, blah. Ugh, this room creeps me out. Right. He looks up towards you. Ask your questions and I'll give you your answers. Alright, well... <laughs> I suppose I'll uh, start with your name. Turn. 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 Yeah, bloody toes. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> Name's bloody toes, he said. Yes. Oh, what? Right. So, uh, you work for Bluffalo and the Bite Strong, then? Yeah, I can't say I'm happy to, but I do. All right, well, can't really say uh, we're a bigger fans either. Do you know who's upstairs at the moment? <clears throat> Uh, we could hear two people uh, talking in a room adjacent to yours. Uh, she's meeting with a trader who came down a limp thunderstorm thing. So Bavlora is up there at the moment? Yes. She's oh. in the study. Alright. Um, so... What is the, the name of the person she's meeting? 
I don't know. They don't give me names when they come. I don't listen. All of those normally rug people. They're not interesting. I don't listen to them, but she was different, but I don't care. Hi. Might be able to piece together their identity from asking some of the locals. Considering, you know, like working with blimps, I'm guessing not just a, just anyone works in that trade. No, oh. not just anyone travels across the fog. Hmm. All right, so how much? So we've been on this floor and we've been in the kitchen so far. Do you know of any other rooms that like might not be apparent to the naked eye? There's the Bad Laura's room, the treasury, uh, obviously the study, fabric room. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where you've been. Where is the treasury? It's connected to a bedroom. What's of Laura has a key. He What's used to inside you? She lost one of them. <laughs> What's inside the treasury? Beats me. I've never been in there. Wait a minute. Mm. Um, at the mention of a key, Victor's going to go into his um, books like, and I do remember when we left uh, Jingle Jangle's place, you gave Victor a key, didn't you? Like there was a little guy who came up to him. Mm-hmm. So Victor's going to pull out that key and present it to him. He said, you happen to know what the key looks like? Happen to look like this? Looks at it and then he nods. Yeah. Uh, did Bad Lauren give you that? Uh, well, I don't suppose you need to know that right now. But uh, nice of you to confirm that it's what we're looking for. Hmm. So, Why am I tied up? Well, I mean, we didn't really know how much of a fuss you were going to make. I mean, <laughs> oh, geez, we all kind of having a laugh at your expense when you were chasing uh, uh, Miko's snake around earlier. Uh, so, well, I. So, where'd you say that a treasure was? It was near a bedroom. So, where's a bedroom relative to, let's say, here? On the third floor. Okay, so how do we get to the third floor? From the second floor? Through the study. Through right. The study. Okay, which they're currently in. Yes. Alright, how long are they going to have the meeting for? I don't know. A uh, minute to an hour? To three hours? I don't know. Yeah. All they asked me to do is make a stew for them. What time do they typically eat that? When it's freshly prepared, that would so, have been in 40 minutes. Hmm. And are they expecting you to bring it to them, or are they going to come out and eat it? I was going to be taking it into the dining room and calling them for it. <coughs> hmm. Would you be willing to assist us? Assist you what? Oh. Uh, well, you will still do your job as as you did before, but you will leave out the fact that you met us and that you know of us. Also, no. going out, well, to be honest, going out but notice that you said that you didn't particularly like working for Bavlova, so does she have something of yours? No, I've just been forced into her employ. Forced as in you've she's got something over on you, or you literally have no will of your own but to... I was gifted to her. Why? Why, I see. <laughs> Is there a way to free you? Break my contracts? Hmm. Somehow? Literally? A scabber maid? Scabber maid? Scabbatha. Scabbatha Nightshade. I'll be... She's the one that made the I'll be scarecrow. back in a minute, sorry. And 
the contract? Is it like a physical contract that she keeps, or...? No, it's a bond by word. And how can we break that? Get her to end my contract. I don't know. I've never ended a contract before. Why would I know that? She made me, so... Well, I, Do you know I can her? think of some things that could make her end the contract with you. Do you know her? Speaking Night Shades? Yeah. Uh, not personally. She, we know someone sure? who also made her. You look like some of her tin men. Um... Well, that's useful information, but no, I I wasn't made by her. Mm. So, um, Sergio, do you have any questions for him? Well, the only question that I have is that uh, have you have you seen uh, a child around here? Uh, kind of looks like me, but they are a girl, red skin. Have you Actually, seen her? Up and down. Looks to the side. I've not seen anything come through to chop up like you. Well, I don't have any questions. But Laura might know. You really think that? He shrugs. And I turn to uh, Victor and uh, Nico. Do you think we should... Uh... I think we can untie him. And I think... Because we... Uh, if you help us, we will try to help you. I have something that Beth Lorna wants. So perhaps I could use that to make her end the contract with you. But it's not about law you need to end it with, it's Scabitha. She made oh. the contract. Oh, but she's not here, is she? No. I mean, I will keep it in mind, but that will make it a bit more difficult. Um, well then, I don't I think I have uh, any questions. If you are okay with it, I think it's best if you were to continue your work, create the stool, and make them eat it in the dining room. Hmm. If you are willing to help us assist with that. You know, something actually just uh, popped back into my memory. Uh, before we move on, if you don't mind. Go ahead. You remember when we were out in the swamp and we saw that image of the lake of... Like, um, didn't really kind of think about it at the time, but I'm guessing it looked like one of the eggs stirring, stirring the pond. Kind of surprised that Bavlora doesn't have... Do, doesn't she make her own food? Could have sworn we saw, you know... So that looked like maybe it wasn't Bavlora herself. I'm not sure. I mean, we don't know how she looks like, but could be Scamperveth or someone else. Well, yeah, that's what I said. I said a hag. That's why. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I suppose just you know, given that this is well Bavlora's realm, it might be likely that we could have seen her and not really realized it up until now. Be. And then, um, if you guys don't have any questions. No, I should just let him 
continue his job, hide away in the kitchen for a bit. And then when they leave for dinner, we could go through the study. Yeah. I suppose uh, that's about as good a plan. Definitely a better plan than we had before. Uh, actually, there is one thing that's on my mind. So, what are we going to do with that chest? Because the, the thing is, I have with me now. Well, the thing is, like, if that kind of just creates like a cold trail wherever it goes, right? He twists around to look towards you and spots the chest. What are you doing with the chest? Oh, yeah, that. Um, we met uh, met a fella who's uh whose uh, heart wasn't exactly in the right place, and um, we s said that we'd look around to see whether we could help him out, and it uh, turns out that we could. What did you give for it? Oh, what do you mean, what did we get for it? Give for it. Oh, that's actually a question I don't remember. Uh... You know what? Considering you're so mopey, I didn't really pay attention to exactly. What did you give Blood Laura for it? Oh, we just found it. Really it in... Parts of stuff. Well, that's just between us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't need to worry about that. Didn't happen on your watch. Victor winks. You. Hmm. He looks yes. very uneasy. Well, I mean, you just got to go back and do your job, eh? So I can just got to quickly grab something. While they were busy, Pixie cut off a couple of yards of that fabric she really liked. One of them. <laughs> Stuff that into a pack, and then she's looking at all the other fabrics if there's another one she really likes. She might take a little swatch. Swatch? Swatch? Is that? I don't know how to. Uh, swath? Yeah, a little piece of it. Yeah. Swath of fabric? Um, yeah. I, I take me in and anyway. <laughs> well then. Shall you? If she hears them coming out the door, she will kind of hide in the room, so... I think it's time for you to continue and do your job? Yeah. Hi. Well, listen, one more thing I would like to say before you go, and um, that's... Um, that's uh, we're kind of sorry that this all sort of shook out this way, and um, just know that, you know, if uh, things do go sideways, um, you know, we never saw you either. Yeah. Help us help you. Have that. Uh, what was that, sorry? You shouldn't have that. Oh no, it's still in the house, so I think it should be okay. We're not stealing it, because it's still here. <laughs> if you break the third, the second rule, Bad things will happen. So what are those rules? Just so we so we're clear. Second, a second, and a third rule. So we're kind of not from around here. So you're gonna to have to elaborate. The rule of reciprocity, the rule of hospitality, and the rule of ownership. He looks at you confused. The laws of the fae. Yeah, I mean, take a look at us, friend. Not exactly from here. Kind of assume that uh, we have no idea what we're talking, what you're talking about. The three rules are basically: um, you mustn't steal. Uh, when someone offers you something, you must accept. And when someone enters your home, you must be accommodating. Alright, so I, I assume it's something like that, then. 
It's like the rules aren't different in the Fire Realm. It's just because I kind of I understand what hospitality and reciprocity is. It's just I was wanting to make sure it actually means the same thing here as it does at home. Hi. <coughs> right, so what you're saying is uh, we need to have a chat uh, with Bavlor to work out a suitable arrangement for this. Motioning to the yes. chest. All right. Well, I tell you what. To kind of uh, put your ease, what if we put this back where we found it for now, and we go and have a chat to Bavlora? Would that uh, would that make you trust us a bit more? He nods slowly. If, I wonder if we have any information that we could use or trade with Pavlorna, something that she doesn't want anyone to know, something that she might want to know. Mm. I do know something, yes. You know something? Yes, what is it? She doesn't want us to know. Would you be willing to offer it? Yes, I would. He looks at the side and speaks quietly. She has a weakness. She's allergic to seeing people won Widdish in uh, She's allergic to what? Seeing anyone run Widdishins. To run with what? Widdishins. Hmm. Counterclockwise. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I've never oh, heard that one that. before. Nice. Sorry, it, it wasn't Pixie, that was me, because I think it was a player misunderstanding a mistake. Yeah, it it's was not <laughs> a character. Yeah, it hmm. it's amazing information, actually. Thank you. We could definitely use that to help people do we have um anything else we want to know any questions victor sergio not uh, not really uh i mean honestly i think we got more out of them than than i well we have a thought about. Why? Then, um, then I'm gonna start untying him and give the rope back to Sergio. I put it back in my uh, backpack. He stretches and then moves quite stiffly. Mm. Uh -huh. I gotta bleak, throw something at me for being so late now. Our um, apologies. He starts making his way uh, towards the stairs to go up. He makes his way towards the kitchen and he proceeds to continue making. I don't know if I said stew or hot pot, so I'll say a stew pot. Hi. Right. Hi. Right, so, you said you needed to get this done in about forty minutes. Yeah. Would take me about forty minutes to do it. Uh, anything any of us can help you to do to get you back on track? You speed up time. Well, well, no, but just and you nope, know, then shut up and sit there. All right. All right, just trying to be helpful. And so we're all following him? He's already... Um, he went up towards the wall face the kitchen to continue. Oh, okay. You will simply sit around and let him uh, cook his the meal? No, if we can assist with... Uh, cooking. Effectively, all that needs to be done is it needs to be put on heat. 
effectively. I can tell you. Unless you can speed up time, there is effectively nothing that could be done. Can I... Nope. Okay, then. I don't have anything. Anyone else? <laughs> what, did, did we know what meaty is using? Well, there's bits of pig on a table, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. After he left, like, after she noticed him going upstairs, Pixie will come out again. Um, and join up with the others again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well then, um, good news everyone. And, uh, he is very... Accommodating Maybe also because of one of the three rules um, One of the other three rules is to not steal I don't know what happens if you do but apparently it's very bad he said So I advise any of you not to steal And because of that we're also returning this chest And trying to huh? I was just saying that you also look glancing over towards the water at one point, and you see the reflection of a goose on the water. Oh, no, not again. Is it, it behind is, me? It is stood in the water, but you only see the reflection. Is, is that a problem, uh, Nico? If you look at the water, what do you see? If I look at the water? Yeah. Do I see something? Roll me perception. Perception. Um, 17. You can see a faint ripple from one point in the water. About the... And Nico, that is where you see the, the reflection. I don't see anything, uh, big guy. And you don't see the reflection of a goose? <laughs> I know it's a weird question. But I right. see a reflection of a goose. I turn towards uh, Victor and Pixie. See, like, does, does this happen? Of what's going on? Uh, no, no, uh, quite noting. Wasn't there something about that before? Something with the goose? Yeah. No. The, but the river. is completely bewildered still from the no stealing. She doesn't really understand that, so she's completely <laughs> bewildered looking at him. Like, hey. About? Hey, Pix. Um, just uh, let me tell you one side a minute. So I've got something pretty funny to tell you. So, uh, so yeah, the, the no stealing thing is a little bit, yeah, I know, but get this right. Uh, we were talking to that fella and apparently, uh, you know, Bev Laura, uh, the ag can, that rules over the, rules over the realm. Yeah. We found out what our weakness is. Yes, are you going to tell me? Well, yeah, this is the thing, <laughs> I kind of have to. I have to kind of brace myself for a moment. Apparently, a weakness is that she can't see anyone running counterclockwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? I had to kind of keep a straight face while we're interrogating the guy, but uh, yeah, fair well, mate. Crazy place. This is just giggling. Oh, right, nice to see you giggle again after earlier. <laughs> and Nico. Oh, it was creepy. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. At one point when you glance away to look to the others and glance back, the goose now has a dagger in its uh, duck bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
it's still at the same spot. Right? Yep. I just keep glaring at it, not saying anything. I'm thinking this goose will be might become the death of me. So yeah, anyway, picks. Oh yeah, so anyway, no stealing rule. Um, you shouldn't take anything that doesn't belong to you. Something bad might happen. Well, probably will happen. <coughs> uh so we're going to trade the scarecrow's head and the heart to Bevelora for something well we have a book to to return we have a book that we can trade with her and we have information about her weakness that we could trade with her hmm I think she might know what she's weak to. It's not so much that she doesn't know, Pix. It's more that she probably doesn't want other people to know that. Because the thing is, these eggs probably will through fear. And, well, kind of difficult to do that when everyone's laughing at you. Okay. Yep. So, um... I think, uh, unless anybody has something else to do, we might just uh, walk in. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually just faint. Have we taken the chest back yet, Sorry. Or are we still on the ground floor at the moment? Still on the ground floor. Still on the ground floor, okay. No, no, it's fine. I was just going to ask something if we, if we hadn't actually moved yet, so... Oh, yeah. Victor's just going to say. Um, well, I mean, I suppose uh, we just uh, just have to wait, don't we? I mean, we can wait or we can just walk in. Yeah. Well, I mean, whichever works. We're going to be talking to her pretty soon anyway. It's just whether we want... To wait for them to come out to eat and we can discuss it over dinner or whether we want to just make ourselves known. Leave it up to you guys. Yeah. I'm okay with either, so. Oh, well. Yeah, just, uh, s uh sod it. We'll just go and talk to him now. I all this sneaking around's got me exhausted. Then. Are you going back in through the kitchen? Uh, or through the other door? Think back through the think back through the kitchen is because the other door would take us past the bees, wouldn't it? We could just Yeah. We could just go in the living room, wait for her there. So Is one the di the dining room? Yeah, yeah, dining room, living room. The room was the table and the chairs. Yeah, yeah, that's where, where I was thinking of going. Oh, well, you guys <coughs> do. <coughs> I might stay back. Because of the uh, other room? Yeah. Just because. Yeah, all right, Pix. Well, I uh, trust to know what you're doing, so. Yeah, let's, uh. Let's add, a, add an up then. Right, and let's wait. You guys gather in the dining room. Picking a chair, you sit around, and you wait. Pix is moving into the. Um. No, she's not moving into that room. She's in the hallway, but kind of hiding in the doorway opposite the dining room. No worries. Yeah, uh, that one there. Hmm. You 
You sit around, flies buzzing around some half-eaten food. You hear bumping in the kitchen, clattering of plates. And Bloody Toes comes in and sets fresh, partially clean plates down in front of you all. I'll be over in a second. He walks on out. You hear murmured voices, and then you hear heavier footfalls approaching you, coming from the kitchen. The door opens up to reveal a six foot tall frog like woman in what might have once been elegant clothing, but has since given away to grime and whir. Looks at you all, and her throat expands slightly before retracting back to normal. I don't remember inviting people here. What are you doing here? Are you assassins sent in the night? No, because then we, we wouldn't be her? waiting in the kitchen. We'll end up session there. Uh, very, very interesting stuff. Yeah, anyone who's still here, thank you very much for watching, and we should be back again with this in two weeks. Well, until then, thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye.